like I said, there's only two fights I want. There's either, you know, obviously the rematch with Tank, but I think there's a much bigger option. I want to go after Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, 140 pay-per-view. Let's do this shit on Showtime. Let's get, let's get that shit happening. Ryan right down here, Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. Even though it was a diff disappointing diff uh, fight for you tonight, where do you feel like you go from here after the, such a disappointment tonight? What, what's next for Ryan Garcia? 140. I'm going to 140. You know, this fight's not going to deter me too much of my dreams. You know, um, I got in there with one of the best. So, you know, we fought. You know, I fought. I, I did what I had to get in the ring. But I, I'll feel much stronger at 140, you know. Um, or even, you know, yeah, 140. So I'm going to feel good. I'm going to go up and uh, fight the top fighters in 140, and that's what I plan to do. Right back here. Hey, Ryan, Dan Rayfield here. I wanted to know, uh, you, you said you felt good and you felt strong. I wondered, was the fact that you had to make the 136 pounds and then only the rehydration up to 146, did, did that in any way sap you? of any power or energy did you think in the fight? I mean, from an honest like perception of it, I, I didn't feel too good. I mean, I, I felt a little weak, you know, going into the ring. My legs didn't feel too much under me, but once the fight got going, you know, it kind of all came together. So I can't really put pin, pin that too much, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I signed the contract and that's that. And one other question for you, Ryan. A lot of people talked about this fight. The winner would become the face of boxing. Jim Gray asked him, uh, 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 Gervonta, about that in the ring. He said, it's him now. Uh, do you agree with that, or do you think that because you guys gave the fans this big mega fight, that even if he is the face of boxing, that you're still, with a loss, pretty much right there? Yeah, man, I feel like um, I'm still uh, a big attraction in sport. And uh, when moving up to 140, I think whoever I fight is going to be big. So... Uh, it's going to be exciting to see where our, our careers go, you know. Um, kudos to Javante. I hope the best for him. And, uh, you know, he's going to do great things at 135, but uh, I plan on moving up to 140 and doing my thing. Ryan, Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Will you become world champion at 140? I, I believe so, for sure, yeah. 140, I feel strong. Uh, I feel fast. Um, yeah, yeah, 140, I'm coming for you. And who would you like to face? All the top guys. Anybody, uh, I know a lot of people are going to want to call me out, so uh, bring them all on. Ryan, right here. Big Yacht Maravilla with Fight News. First of all, man, how, uh, how draining was it? How, you know, did it play a factor? Obviously, there was a body shot. And how quick do you come back? When, when do you plan on returning? How fast? Um, I plan on returning well, whenever I can, uh, as soon as possible. You know, I want to get back in the gym, start working on my skills. And, uh, yeah, so whenever I'm clear to fight again, I'm going to try to fight. So, uh, yeah, three months, I believe it is, and I'll get back to it. Okay. Ryan, you always mention, no puedes jugar boxeo here, Ryan. You always mention that you are really proud of your Mexican blood. Tonight, the arena at South Point sounds like a Mexico. What can you tell to the Mexican fans that are yelling, giving you the support? Honestly, at that moment, uh, I felt so proud, man. I never felt that in a fight before, you know, them screaming uh, Mexico. And uh, honestly, it warmed my heart, and I appreciate all of them that came in support. Um, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I try my best as a Mexican warrior. And I try to make you guys proud, and I thank you guys for uh, supporting me in the fight. I do. Appreciate you. Got two more questions for Ryan Garcia. 